Well, then the sway bar end links are adjustable, so. Well, what, what the sway bar end links are is you actually disconnect them. You then get your corner weight right. Okay. And then, you need to have a lift like You need to have a drive on because then, what you do is you connect the sway bars so that the whole thing slides through. You want no, while the car sits, right. you want no tension on the sway bar whatsoever. Gotcha, okay, cool. So the perfect setup, right now, the sway bar is bolt. When I undo it, I should be able to just slide it out. Right. If it's under tension, then, then you can't it. balance it. Well, right. not, you can't balance it, and it actually gets preloaded with the sway bar, so it's not going to pull. Yeah, alignment, alignment is like magic. So I'm just going to put it on that. He's going to get that up. I'm going to put it on the regular lift to okay. do the repairs. Okay. Then we'll put it back up here to do the, the corner in the. Cool. Um, As we're taking this thing off right here, put the monoball mounts in. All right. So if you've never seen the underside of an M3, I've only seen it being upside down underneath the car. AWE. It's AWE. Three inch piping. I don't know what you can see at the JRZ under here. There's the oil cooler. Too much camber. Oh, you hella flush guys. I don't know how the heck you do this. So I'm driving all over the place. Thought I was gonna crash. There's a hunter climate system. Put the uh, put those. Um, let's see what I'm talking about here. There's a little spring perch right here, and basically it's rubber. And it looks like the spring's supposed to sit on top of the rubber, but it, I believe it needs to be the other way around so that the the, the, there's this little circle metal piece that keeps the spring centered because the center of the spring sort of sit a little funny. So we're going to fix that too. Actually, that toe arm might hold it on there. I just always, I don't just like rip things apart. I mean, a lot of people will, and then they worry about it after the fact. I usually. Yeah, I'm with it's you. It's not bad thing. jammed in there because it's not supposed to be. Yeah.
print supposed to sit on there, or is it? Oh, idiot. It's, it's contoured right here. You know that? Yeah. <laughs> That's where the spring would. That's taking yeah. the place of a spring. Right. Like, where, where a spring would normally go in. Dang it. And then that. Right, and that's what I assumed, but I'm like, you know, th it just looks like the spring's supposed to sit on that little thing there. There's the squeak that I was having, I guarantee you. <laughs> the spring trying to get out, you know? <laughs> hey, not bad for a white collar guy, you know? Yeah, I hate it. I'm doing all right. Learn from your mistakes. Never yep. do that again. Right? Yeah, the funny thing is I took the other spring out and I'm like, these guys put it on wrong. You know, the one that was in there? Yeah. And, uh, yeah. So to start this, we're removing sway bar end links, right? Correct. We're just disconnecting one end of them. Gotcha. So we got the car jacked up in the air. We put the scales underneath it in order to corner balance. And now Bill's just removing all of the, uh, he's removing the sway bar end links. So there's no tension or load on the suspension. So once these things are, once we put them back on, they don't really need to be like super tight. Is that the idea? They just sit in there, or do we torque the the, the nuts against each other? Correct. Okay. Once once they're in there and they're the correct length, yeah. Then we'll tighten the jam nuts so that it keeps the length. Gotcha. Okay. So. But it can still move around. Pivot right. Around. I mean, gotcha. theoretically, when the car is on a level surface, yeah. Unloaded, you know, they're they're, they're all actually, sitting there. Yeah. Yeah. You, you should be able to like kind of grab that and, and kind of move it back and forth. Gotcha. Okay. So without those adjustable end links, we just wouldn't be able to dial it in exactly right. Correct. So that, so that was a solid investment then. Assuming I was a real car guy, not a poser. Which we all know isn't the truth. <laughs> now, theoretically, you only have to remove one side. You yeah. don't have to unload the sway bar. The way yeah. all four up just to make it perfect. Well, apparently I've been driving without a front sway bar for a long time because the front end link was the front end link was broken. Oh, it was really? hanging there, yeah. <laughs> because the the spring perch for the front coilover was misaligned. Got it. So it yanked it out. Roughly 3560. I just fill up the gas tank. Just fill up the gas tank. So So these are the cross weights. Correct. Right now you're at 45%. 45% weight might, in the rear. It might be much closer. Mm. How much you weigh? 2 250, 240. Let's get you up in there. Close, yeah. yeah. You gonna put on the lock? What? Put on the lock? Yeah. Higher on the right front. <coughs> you could bring the right front down. down. Yeah. 
to take a take some of that thousand off. Yeah. Okay. So we were at we were at forty nine point nine with me in the car, and now we're at forty eight point seven. Yeah, with so me it's in. about a percent different. Yeah. yeah. Which isn't anything that's going to be noticeable. Oh, certainly. Sure. And as a ride height mm -hmm. here. So what what you did was. You just adjusted the you adjusted the coilover height in order Correct. to get on this side here. We went, we came down on here. Yep. And on this one here, we actually went up. So we only had to adjust two. Gotcha. But the back's not even side to side in terms of ride height. I was just going to show you that. So right here, I'm sitting from from ground to the fender. You're right at like 25 and a half. Mm -hmm. And the other side. Put the sway bar inlinks back in, we, we torque it down and then we can align it. Alignment is the uh, voodoo magic that I don't uh, quite comprehend. Yeah. <laughs> I think I understand the rear now. There's a bolt right there, all you do is turn. So the bolt has a... Uh... Yeah, your two adjustments are, there's your toe. Yep. And then alignment's on that. That one. This one. Yeah. No, this one right here. No, this one. Yeah, that one. Yeah. And that's gonna. And they. So in this particular car, some cars have. This basically just does camber, and this just does tow. Mm -hmm. These kind of both affect each other, so you do them at the same time. Gotcha. So we're loaded up as we would be at, you know, a normal riding height on the ground. That one sway bar is connected and tight. Yep. And see how this one? It's loose. Yeah. I can put it in and out. And that's exactly what you want. Sweet. So now that's adjusted properly. So we'll tighten so, them and then we'll tighten the jam nuts and you're all set with the sway bar. So then the sway bar doesn't do anything until you're under load. Until right. you're under load. It's right. an anti-sway bar. Right. <laughs> so if it's loaded, then it's throwing off your corner belt, you know, it's throwing off our, our weights and yep. stuff. So that's, and then you just torque those, the sway the bar. The, the, the jam nuts, yeah. yeah. So once, once I get it all tight, then we'll just keep those a tweak. So here's the end link he's talking about right here. It's the end link. We're doing this all before we do alignment. Question, how much length is left on like these front ones? Are they pretty close or could I make uh, them a lot longer? Yeah, you can make it a lot longer. Really? That's at the shortest. Um, should we move that brake line? Take a look at the brake lines. I, I don't, I got one on that side and then the right side on the other side. Shouldn't it be on the- This uh, here? No, uh, it's right, straight up. Right, that's leaning against the, uh, see how it's, no, see how it's leaning against the tie rod or the end link? Oh. Is that cool, you think? I think it's supposed yeah. to go behind it. No, it's got a curve to it. That's what I thought too. Because I got one that way and the other one the other way. <laughs> oh. Have to load it, but it's not like before. It's like, Grr. they don't clamp on the wheel. Right there? Oh. 
2015 to dash. <laughs> What size wheels are these? 19. One thirty second positive. See on the right side, what, well, yeah, one sixteenth to one thirty second. See right there. That's what we want the toe to be right there on the right hand. Gotcha. So yeah. the other, so the left side is way up. Correct. Yeah, way up. Shoot, this isn't rocket science. I thought this was some kind of magic. Or well, we need the machine. <laughs> yeah. All right. See now my now my camber isn't quite what I would like to see. So. Turn the toe arm. And those bars are very nice. Yeah, it makes it <laughs> so easy. It, yeah. Do it by hand instead of having to put a wrench in there and mess yeah. with it. Well, oh, they were 700 bucks, so. Really? Those two bars? Wow. Yeah. They're good. <laughs> yeah. That's not camber. Is that, no. Oh, yeah. yeah. So factory is 1.7, we're going to run a little more aggressive than that. Well, no, factory is more like around 1.5, be in the middle. Gotcha. We're going on the high side of that. She and I thought 1.8 would be a good number. Yeah. So that's it perfect right there. Yeah. Now, there is no caster in the rear, right? Correct. darn toe arms make it so easy that's awesome now i know why racers buy this crap yeah here we go rear end is dialed you're doing is torquing down those eight millimeter bolts yep and, and making sure that those two that the uh the links are not binding that there's like basically they're 90 degrees from each other. Two. 
Well, we picked the wrong side to set it on, right? Ah, there we go. No more hella flush. No more stance movement. Now we're real man. Some of that girly man tight jean stuff. <laughs> Now I understand the whole, you know, camber plates and yep. toe arms and why you do all that stuff. It just makes it so much easier. Now that you, yeah, and, and now that you, you can see it, yeah. how, what, what it, what it's. Yeah. yeah, it's not magic anymore. It's, yeah. it's actual yep. bolts. You know, to me, yep. I would just, it's not just somebody trying to take my money. <laughs> right, I would always drop my car off and be like, some magic happened and my car is driving straight again. Now I know it's not magic. Yeah. <laughs> 